This aviary at Ngamba Islands on Lake Victoria has been home to the parrots since they were confiscated by airport officials in Bulgaria about three years ago. The smugglers had 108 birds in their possession, but only 32 came back to Uganda alive. During the three months confinement, the parrots were closely monitored and found to have good flight feathers and strong muscles, and vets say they will be able to fend for themselves in the wild. An opening was left on the aviary so the parrots could fly away when they chose. We've called it wild release back into the wild, but apparently the birds have to discover on their own and see there is a window somewhere so we can escape. Apparently it is a voluntary escape. I'm sure you must be wondering why we need to get the birds and release them set free. That would be really unacceptable because we don't want to, want to interfere. We want them to learn through a gradual process. 17 have been freed, but 10 parrots are still under special care. The rest died. The parrots are mainly found in rainforests in West and Central Africa. They are an endangered species. But people are captivated by their ability to mimic humans. Some can speak up to 1,600 words. And that's provided a lucrative market for illegal traders. We're actually talking of millions of parrots that have been taken away. And the consequence of that is that populations in many areas have, have declined dramatically. And there's very little data from a lot of places, but where there is information, um, the signs aren't really good. Conservationists say people must be better educated. The importance of education, the importance of young children learning that these animals are not just here for us to catch and play with and put in homes and put in tiny cages. Mm. They're here because they're part of an amazing natural world. Under the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, only limited numbers of parrots can be moved or traded. But smugglers continue to sell the birds to buyers in Europe and Asia. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Number Islands, Central Uganda.